Hi, I'm Nick Perkins, and in this short video, I'm going to explain a little bit about what the coding mindset is, how it fits into education, and how Pearson has incorporated this concept into its innovative English language teaching series for primary English code. So when you first hear the term a coding mindset, you might think, hmm, what's that? So you go and Google it, and quite soon your reaction might turn into something like this, as you think, how on earth am I supposed to deal with this and teach it? I'm an English teacher, not a computer science teacher. Because what you often find when you first begin to investigate the term is a lot of information about computer programming, the writing of code, um, and you might encounter um, texts like the one that's up on the screen now, uh, which is actually a very, very simple piece of HTML code. It's part of the bio section of my website. But when you first see it, it can be very, very intimidating and largely unintelligible. But that's not at all what the coding mindset is all about uh, in education and in the way that Pearson has incorporated it into English code. Before we talk about that specifically, let's just quickly take a look back to the future at some of the many ways that were promised to guarantee success in the learning of a language. Um, these are some of the ways that I've encountered in my research, some of them that I've used in my own teaching, and I'm sure many of you have as well. And over the history of language teaching, many of these ideas have been um, knocked down to make way for the next big, new, shiny uh, methodology which was promising to revolutionize the way we taught. And gradually what we learned was that none of these methodologies are inherently bad and none of them are necessarily better than others. Um, and in this age that we're in now, which some might call the post-method age, um, we use lots of the best elements of many of these approaches and we incorporate them into a holistic uh, approach for teaching language in the most effective way possible. And when we look at modern curricula, it's all about using the and leveraging the EFL curriculum as a framework for building fundamental life skills. And that's what the coding mindset is all about in terms of the way that it's been incorporated into English code. So what is the coding mindset and why should you even care? A coding mindset is really all about collaboratively identifying problems, exploring solutions, identifying the most efficient one, that's a really important part of it, and then implementing, testing, revising, iterating, and applying these solutions in a way that is accessible to others and reusable by them. And this, again, is very much a reflection on the way that we teach language and the way that the EFL curriculum can be used as a framework for building fundamental life skills alongside the learning of language. If we put the coding mindset into a pyramid, what it's all about is identifying the problem, first of all, evaluating uh, the problem itself and then possible solutions to that problem, making something to resolve the problem. So it's not necessarily about writing code, as we'll see a little bit later on when we look at some examples from English code. Um, it's about implementing that solution, but that's just the start. You then assess the solution, you revisit uh, different ways that you could have solved it. You debug the solution, you then make iterations on that solution and you apply those iterations. And you do this again and again and again. And it's a continual process, which again is reminiscent of the way in which one effectively learns a language. A coding mindset is about looking at problem solving in a way that focuses as much on the process of solving the problem as the solution itself and continually analyzes why it was a problem in the first place and how we can overcome the issues which led to it being a problem. A coding mindset in English code incorporates all sorts of other aspects of modern teaching methodologies. So future skills are included within the coding mindset, the four C's. Uh, big questions are a fundamental part of the coding mindset in English code. And obviously all of this uh, leads to comprehensive language development amongst primary school students. So we've looked at some of the whys the coding mindset uh, is an important uh, part of modern education. How can you implement a coding mindset? Well, you could, of course, go off and investigate and do it yourself within the curriculum that you currently use. Or you could choose materials which incorporate the coding mindset into their fundamental design, like 
English code. And let's have a very quick look now at some of the ways that English code does this. So whether you're working with others and English code's activities all involve in some way collaborating with others, whether you're collaborating on finding the solution, whether you need to go to others to find information that you don't have yourself to incorporate into your solution, it's a fundamental part of English code. Whether you're experimenting and iterating, and English code involves uh, a huge amount of experimentation and iteration on problems. There's a cross-curricular uh, strand which runs all the way through English code and incorporates information from all sorts of subjects. And each unit has a very specific experimentation time where you test your solutions, where you make things, uh, and very, very, very practical in a collaborative way. Whether you're creating solutions, whether you're finding the solution and iterating on that solution and working out which is the best and most efficient one, or whether you're critically contemplating the bigger picture, English Code uses uh, a big question which forms the basis for the unit and then becomes part of projects in the unit and experiments. All of these things uh, are incorporated together under the banner of the coding mindset in English Code. None of the activities require any technology or program programming abilities. They're integrated throughout the series and they're very, very easy to use and very, very well explained in the teacher's guide. They do reflect the skills and the mindset of a coder. Um, the concept does come from the world of coding, uh, but these skills and, and the mindset, if you look at what they actually are, are transferable across all sorts of other areas. We're talking about persistence, collaboration, troubleshooting, problem solving, iteration, and so on and so forth. And they teach and reinforce coding style skills. So you will find activities in English code which do cover concepts, uh, some quite complex concepts such as algorithms, sequencing, functioning, events, variables, and so on and so forth uh, in a way which is uh, directly relevant and linked to the English learning curriculum, but also uh, teaches and reinforces these fundamental life skills which are so important uh, in all of our lives. English Code is a six-level series. It has a starter level if you do have true beginners in primary school, and then it runs through levels one uh, to six, uh, takes students to a B1 level. It can be used with uh, anything from five hours of English per week up to 10 or even more hours of English, depending on the number of optional extra activities that you are able to incorporate into your teaching from the English Code components. Uh, English Code, as well as the student's book, has a teacher's guide, obviously. There's a comprehensive video program, lots of online practice activities and a practice platform for students, all sorts of digital resources that can be used in the classroom or for homework work, there's a presentation tool and an assessment pack. It's a very, very comprehensive English language teaching series that follows an innovative and very modern methodology. And building and nurturing a coding mindset by using English code in primary school will help your students develop vital skills that transcend English language learning and have a positive impact on their whole lives. I hope you found this talk interesting. If you have, I would invite you to visit the English Code website. Feel free to contact me as well if you have any questions at all. And I will see you again in the next video.